Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the drive mode settings on Sony Alpha cameras. Now depressing the left side of that control wheel on the back of the camera should give us access to the drive mode settings. Now on some cameras such as the Alpha 1 you'll have a dedicated drive mode dial on the top left side of the camera. Now the first option we have here is single shooting. Depress the shutter release once and you take one image. Holding down the shutter release you still only get one image. We need to move into continuous shooting to get multiple images when holding down the shutter release. Now we'll have a number of options here from high plus, high, mid and low. High plus you'll get the maximum frames per second. If your camera is not using a stack sensor, i.e. the Alpha 1 and Alpha 9 cameras, then if you are panning with the camera you need to use the high mode not the high plus because the high mode gives us live view in the viewfinder as we're panning the camera. You can use that high plus setting on a camera such as the Alpha 1. If we move into um, uh, panning the camera in the high drive mode you'll have continuous shooting but you'll also have continuous focus. That word continuous is used twice there which is why I'm showing you this slide. Uh, just selecting one continuous option isn't going to get you all of the settings you need to shoot fast action. Now in high uh, mode we will get AFC confirmation, i.e. the subject is locked on, when we get that little green dot with the parentheses either side. If the tracking has not been acquired we won't get that green dot in the middle of the parentheses. So you might want to try releasing the shutter release and reacquiring so the uh, camera can lock on and track your object. Remember high for panning on all cameras except for maybe the Alpha 1 where we'll choose high plus and we'll get the maximum frames per second. Okay, high for panning. Pretty much all sports where the camera uh, is going to be moving we'll use that high rather than the high plus setting. And again tracking the camera from left to right or right to left using the high setting. Now if the action is coming towards the camera, even with a camera such as the Alpha 7 IV, we could now move into the high plus setting. It doesn't really matter that we don't have a live view in the viewfinder anymore because the action will be coming towards the camera. So if you're needing the maximum frames per second, that will be 10 frames per second on the Alpha 7 IV, we can use that high plus setting. If you're using the high for panning, the frame rate will uh, drop to 8 frames frames per second. Okay, so the action is again coming towards the camera, so I'm electing to use the high plus drive mode. Now, if you're wanting to get the maximum frames per second, there are another couple of uh, settings that you will want to check off. First of all, we're going to be using the mechanical shutter on the Alpha 7 IV. We can use the um, uh, electronic shutter on cameras featuring the stack sensors, that's the Alpha 9 and Alpha 1 cameras. But on a camera just using a regular backlit illuminated sensor, we need to be using the mechanical shutter so we do not get shutter distortion. We will also want the E front curtain shutter to be on. Some people will switch this off um, believing that they get better bokeh when using shallow depth of field. But for sports action for maximum frames per second you want that E front curtain shutter to be on. Okay, so we also go into the focus settings, the AF-MF tab, page one, priority set in AFC. We need to move that from balanced emphasis to release. This is a really important one. Some reviewers um, often st state that the, um, the number of frames per second that Sony are uh, quoting are not possible, but indeed they are possible. You just need to double check you've got all of these settings um, in position. Okay, so uh, priority set in AFC is set to release. We should also, if you are a RAW shooter, be setting the, um, uh, the RAW file type to compressed. You will lower the frame rate by going for lossless compression or uncompressed. 
in the drive mode settings we have um, some more settings uh, below the continuous shooting first off is we have the self timer now the self timer is quite useful not just for shooting selfies when the camera is on a tripod but also when we're wanting to um, shoot uh, long exposures for maybe landscapes and we've forgotten to have a remote release such as the Bluetooth remote or a wired remote. If you want to do, um, uh, press the shutter release it's good to have the self timer set to two or five seconds so that any vibrations put into the camera by depressing the shutter release have settled down by the time uh, the shutter opens. So I recommend setting that for two and five for when you're using the camera on a tripod with long exposures. Okay, so below um, the uh, self timer we have uh, the um, uh, bracket modes. Now my favorite bracket is in the bracket continuous shooting. That means you depress the shutter release once and then the camera will automatically take the uh, set number of images. Now I will move that from one third stop increments which is not a great deal if you're a raw shooter and move that up to five shots with one stop difference in between each of the shots and uh, as you can see from the bottom row that there that gives you the sort of exposure range that you might be wanting to capture when the dynamic range in the scene is extreme. Now most post-production editing software such as Lightroom can then um, merge those five exposures into one single raw image. Okay so that's my uh, favorite bracket settings continuous bracket um, one EV five images even without a tripod you might be able to shoot these five images and uh, post-production software can usually align the images even though they weren't captured on a tripod. We'll probably want to go back into the, um, uh, the menus here. Uh, going to that uh, shooting menu, page 6, bracket settings, we can set a self timer during bracket. So again, if we do depress the shutter release, there'll be a two second wait if the camera is on a tripod before shooting those five images. Again, that's important in low ambient light where your exposures might uh, be longer. Okay, so um, interval shooting function is also in those drive mode settings and uh, I have a separate movie for setting up that interval shoot function, sometimes better known as time-lapse photography. Okay, so and here is an example with uh, the bracket and also HDR. I've basically uh, captured uh, five images with one stop apart and then merged those exposures in Lightroom. And as you can see here, the dynamic range would have been extreme, pointing the camera directly at the sky. But um, some of the sides of this uh, transformer building in Hong Kong are in complete shade. If you found this information useful, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an alpha creative skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.